guys, AJ here, and just an update. Um, I've been away for a few weeks. Um, as you know, throughout this this year, it's been a bit weird. Um, so through lockdown one and now 2.0, um, I've been doing a lot of running, jogging, that sort of thing, um, losing weight um, to keep me sort of sane, really. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that, I'm concentrating on doing that till the end of the year, and then next year start sort of bulking up a bit, becoming a bit bigger perhaps. Um, so it's just something for me to do and get myself fit and healthy again. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, um, and I want to talk about iPhone 13 rumours. So hopefully Apple next year will be bringing out a 13 rather than a 12S or something like that. Um, now, there are some rumours out there um, which Apple will try and split the four phones so you'd have an iPhone mini, uh, an iPhone, and then an iPhone Pro and Pro Max. So the two later ones, the Pro and Pro Max, would be um, the same size as they are now, but they won't have, perhaps, um, a charge port at the bottom. Um, so you'd use Qi for charging. So again, you'll then miss something else out in the box. So this time around with the iPhone 12s, the family of 12s, you've got no charge brick or charge um, plug. And now it may be true, maybe not true yet, we don't know, but not even get a cable with the Pro versions. So at, as it stands at the moment, the Pro and Pro Max, you can charge your iPhone 12 Pros and Pro Max with up to 15 watts through Qi charging, which is not bad, considering we used to charge iPhones at 10 watts. Um, and I think it's the iPhone mini and 12, you can only charge at 12 watts. Um, so if they change that um, to 20 or 25 watts even through Qi, that'd be really, really good. Um, and then for the iPhone, 13 mini and iPhone 13 you'll have the charge port with the cable um, so I don't know why they would do that why not just have all four without it and then it'll be another step ahead to where they want to be and also saving weight and be able to shrink the package maybe even more um, to basically sort of as they say save on um, less fuel being burned from the ships that ship these things around and actually have more per crate and save them money as well as the environment, as they say. They could have actually saved more environment if, a little rant of mine here, um, rant warning, that if they, I sent a message to Tim Cook on two different platforms, social media platforms, and said to him, why not bring out the blue iPhone and call it Product Ocean or Product Blue? Um, and then that could be the proceeds to that phone, say 75% goes to helping to clean up the oceans. But no, it didn't happen, but they still kind of nicked the name Pacific, which is an ocean. Mm. Anyhow, um, another rumor is that there might be another one new color for the 13. Um, not sure what it is yet. But if the trend carries on from midnight green, Pacific blue, there may be some other color in the works. I'm sure they'll keep graphite color, um, gold, silver, which really they could just call that white, couldn't they? Because it is a white. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. The other thing is that the um, non-pro versions will have still 60 hertz frame rate so the new one might have 120 for the pros but then why not just increase from 60 to 90 and 120 or just have them all at 120 um, so that's another rumor as well battery sizes I think will probably stay the same if the chipset is just as good as the the a14 um, then that would be really good um, you know you don't need so much of a big battery like some of these phones, Samsung and that, with up to 4,000 milliamp hours, you know, 
and they're still not great in battery life as such. Um, so I don't see the point of that. If anything, that's just creating more harm than good to the environment in that aspect. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that as well. Um, and then there's the air tags. Now they're supposed to be coming out either the end of this month or sometime in December. To be honest, I'm not too fussed about it at the moment because of we don't know so much as in what they're going to be used for or as, um, you know, yeah, okay, put it in a handbag or whatever, but who's going to pay 50, 60 quid to trek your bag? Um, unless you sort of live somewhere up in London, um, Birmingham, Manchester, you know, somewhere where theft rate is quite high, um, then maybe it's a good idea, but, you know, you probably would need to sew that into a pocket somewhere, into the lining, because when they... The thief shakes the bag out to find, try and find your phone and keys and stuff like that and cards that's gonna surely fall out so the best thing i would say would be is to stitch it you know into your luggage hand baggage whatever you want to call it ladies um i don't think men are going to be that fussed about it they maybe track your car or something um but yeah that's that's you know that's where we are at the moment and Apple TV, there's still not much of that coming out at the moment as well. Um, hopefully Apple Watch 7, hopefully there'll be two different shapes with that circular and maybe more of a square shape or maybe the shape as it is now and then maybe more of a squared off shape to follow the new phones and iPad Pros. Who knows? Um, the touch sensitive bit, you know, the fingerprint reader on the new iPad Airs, I think is brilliant. I think we'll see that on the Maybe the iPhone 13 would be good and all the other iPads that are coming out um, in the not so far distant future with the new chip inside as well, the M chip. So that'd be great. But yeah, we'll see. Um, so please carry on following me. Subscribe would be an absolute amazing thing. And uh, I'll see you all soon. If I have any more new information that does ring true, um, then I will make a video on it um, or send put it on my Twitter feed or my Instagram. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Ta-da.